Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm gonna solve an example on benzene toluene mix um, going through a distillation column. So for this example you need pen, ruler, and calculator. And you need a diagram. So let's see the example. So the example one says um, a benzene toluene mix containing 42 mole percent benzene is to be separated in multiple steps. In the first step, a distillation column with a reboiler and a partial condenser is to be used to separate the flow into one holding 70 mole percent benzene and another holding 10 mole percent benzene. So what that means is Basically, let's draw the diagram. So, let's say this is the distillation column. Actually, it doesn't look like a square, but the feed is going in. Feed has 0 0.42 mole percent benzene, so XF should be 0 0.42 because benzene is the most volatile component. And at the top, um, 70 mole percent of benzene is going out. So we can say in the distillate, XD is equal to 0 0.7. On the bottoms, we can say that from the example, XW is equal to 0 0.10. So bottoms is denoted as W. So then what happens, the question is asking us how many number of trays are required and feed is coming with 75% saturated vapor. So that means Q is equal to 0 0.25. Q is basically the uh, quality of feed. So reflux ratio is 1.5, tray efficiency is 40%. So let's find the number of trays. So in order to solve a distillation column problem, you need to follow these steps. First, draw the diagonal on VLE diagram. So diagonal is basically this part. So it has already been drawn. So we did this. Secondly, draw top operating line. Thirdly, draw Q line. Fourthly, draw bottom operating line. Q line, we know that Q is equal to 0 0.25. 5, draw stages. So let's do this one. So second step, draw top operating line. So for top operating line, we know an equation for the top operating line. So reflux ratio is actually given in the question, r equals to 1.5. So we put r here, y equals to 1.5, 2.5x plus xd is equal to 0 0.70. 0 0.70, 2.5. So what that gives us is this uh, equation and when x is equal to 0 then this is the y-intercept so y-intercept is let's see 0 0.7 over 2.5 is equal to 0 0.28 
So y intercept is 0 0.28. So now let's draw on the So this is the diagonal and this is the equilibrium line. Uh, over here we should put all the XW's, XF and XD's. So our XD is equal to 0 0.7, XW is equal to 0 0.1, XF is equal to 0 0.2. So now we draw all of them. until the diagonal line. So now we know the y-intercept for the top operating line. So y intercept 0 0.28, top operating line, 0 0.28 is around here. So I need to draw like so. So this is the top operating line. So now we have to draw the Q line. Our third step is Q line. So it's given to us that in the question that 75% uh, is 75% is saturated vapor. That means Q is equal to 0 0.25 because that means 25% of the feed we need to make it into vapor. So Q is equal to 0 0.25. And for the Q line, we have the equation for the Q line, xf Q minus 1. So what that means is we can use this part, since this is the y-intercept again, we can only calculate this part. XF is 0 0.42, Q minus 1, Q is 0 0.25, so 0 0.75. So minus. So what is the answer? 0 0.42 over 0.75 is equal to 0 0.56. The y-intercept for the Q line, which is the feed line, is 0 0.56. So how do we draw this on the diagram? Let's see, y-intercept is 0 0.56, so a little over 0 0.55. So we draw this. So this is the Q line. So we have this uh, intercept here. So bottom operating line would be XW is 0 0.1. So we go up and then from here we do this. We connect the intercepts. And now we have drawn our operating lines. Now we have to draw the stages. From the top, we go horizontally until the equilibrium line and go down vertically until the operating line and do that again. Oops. So denote that this is the operating line. It 
needs to be horizontal, perfectly horizontal. So until the bottom XW, you need to go until then, but if there's a little bit over, you still count it. So this is the first stage, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7 stages. So now the question is actually asking us um, what is the tray, number of trays needed and it says overall tray efficiency is 40% so from here we have seven stages so number of equilibrium stages is 7 so number of trays is equal to 7 minus 1 minus 1 5 trays why 5 trays? this is the reboiler and this is the condenser so we need to um, uh, take it out because they are already stages and we only need 5 actual trays but it's saying that there's a tray efficiency of 40%. So actual tray number is equal to 5 over 0 0.4 because 40%. So what has happens is 13 trays are needed. And they also asked us to find the feed location feed location so feed location would be so feed is going up here XF is here and it's going up so it's coming at the second stage feed is coming at the second phase stage Feed comes at second equilibrium stage. So actual feed entering is two over zero point forty, which gives us So our next question is to find ref minimum reflex ratio. So this can be found on the graph. So when minimum reflex ratio is happening, um, what that means is Q line is going here and uh, touching the equilibrium line. We have to do this and then top operating line should in be intercepted by this point so we can say that this is 0 0.433 3.33 and this is equal to xd over r minimum plus 1 so we know xd and we can find r minimum so you remember the top operating line uh, equation the y intercept is xd over r plus 1 but when we do uh, q line coming at equilibrium line and connecting with the top operating line then and then the y-intercept will be xd over r minimum plus one zero point thirty three 
So XD, as we know, it's 0 0.7. over our minimum plus one so when we multiply 0 0.33 0 0.7 minus 0 0.33 right yes our minimum is equal to 0 0.7 minus 0 0.33 This is over 0.33 equal to 1.12. So our minimum is 1.12. So this is how you calculate it.